At 23 years old, fresh out of school, I was lost, searching for purpose. And as any good millennial would do, this was before TikTok and doom scrolling, I bought a dozen books on oil and gas, and I just went down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Big nerd here. And I quickly realized human progress is just a function of unlocking more energy and more energy. And human progress is perfectly correlated with energy production per capita. But then some idea hit me, like a brick wall. We are stuck in hydrocarbon age, an era of energy poverty where great power comes at great cost. And so right then and there, I decided to dedicate my life to unleashing energy abundance, the most exciting, ambitious, and transformative goal that I could dedicate myself to. So my name is Kevin Kong. I'm founder and CEO of Everstar. We build artificial intelligence that accelerates the deployment of nuclear power across the world. But going back in history, in ancient Greece, Alexander the Great came across the Gordian Knot, a seemingly impossibly complex tangle that no one could undo. And legend had it that whoever undid the knot would rule all of Asia. So of course, Alexander tried several conventional methods, and when it didn't work, he drew a sword and slashed it in a single stroke. We face our own Gordian Knot today. It's the regulatory strangle that's holding back the nuclear industry. With every great leap in human progress, it has been powered by a leap in energy density. You guys all know wood. Wood was the foundation. It built our early civilizations. But then when we found coal, which is three times more energy dense, that unleashed the Industrial Revolution. When we found oil, which is twice as energy dense as coal, that transformed our 20th century into globalization. Now look at nuclear. Nuclear is 1.5 million times more energy dense than natural gas. That's a lot of juice. What could we build with all this power? And energy is not just lights and keeping them on. Energy is actually the critical input, some of the most basic inputs of our modern life. Energy goes into producing cheap fertilizer, which means food security for billions. Energy goes into producing steel, concrete, and aluminum. More accessible housing, better infrastructure. And more energy means efficient transportation, more mobility, more opportunity for all. So the question is not, can we afford nuclear energy? The question is, can we afford to miss the next great leap humanity's journey? There's a perfect storm of energy demand upon us. We all use ChatGPT and so on. AI revolution is upon us. Every ChatGPT query uses 10 times more energy than a regular Google search does. The global north, all of us here, the electrification of everything is now pushing energy demands double by 2050. The global south is also on the come up. Climbing the energy ladder means they're hungry for more refrigerators, air conditioners, more modes of transport. We need more power. And nuclear delivers a unique solution. It's on 24-7 regardless of the weather. It's the safest, most reliable form of energy, zero emissions. The market sees this reality. Tech giants are investing billions of dollars because they know that a future of AI in abundance is only possible through nuclear energy. So when people ask me, isn't uh, nuclear too niche? It's just very narrow. Why don't you do something bigger? I do not see it that way. I see it as we are building the standard oil of the next century. What's the catch? <laughs> Nobody's perfect, nothing's perfect. Namely, there's two, it's PR and costs. Nuclear possibly has the worst publicist in history, <laughs> despite all of its benefits, reliably adding power for decades on end, just quietly humming in the background, being the safest source of energy, it gets a bad rap because it gets judged on a couple of bad days in history. Whereas in 
oil, coal, natural gas world, largely unscathed, even though it kills millions of people per year from pollution, health effects, and accidents. The second reason why nuclear gets a bad rap is because it's often very costly and time-consuming to build nuclear. Why? It hasn't always been this way. In 1957, we built Shipping Port, Pennsylvania's first commercial reactor in the world. This took 32 months from groundbreaking to operations. This same construction today would take 10, 15 years. So what changed? It's not the technology, because today it's vastly safer and more efficient. What changed is our approach to regulations. Getting a design certified for a new reactor will cost you 2 million labor hours, producing 2 million pages of documentation, half a billion dollars over 10 years. What's worse, on any given nuclear power plant, a component could be up to 90% driven by paperwork cost, not the component itself. A basic valve that costs $100 to a commercial buyer, same exact specs, will cost $1,000 to a nuclear buyer. So this so-called nuclear tax is not to make a component better or safer. It's actually just proving that it's the same. So we've replaced building culture with permission culture, while China's building 150 reactors today. Despite all these challenges, there's a lot of inflection points and sea changes happening. That's in the positive column for nuclear. Economic, technological, geopolitical forces are forcing us to reckon with a new reality. Tech companies are already running out of power for AI. Natural gas plants have already been tapped. There's a nine-year queue for diesel generators. We're restarting or extending the life of coal plants. We need more power. Artificial intelligence has also come a long way. It's powerful enough to handle a lot of safety documentation that's 400, 4,000 pages long and be able to help customers navigate those challenges. Nuclear has also become very bipartisan. The Advance Act that propelled the industry forward last year passed with an 88 to 2 margin. That's as bipartisan as it gets. Energy security has also become a focal point for national security. Blackouts and brownouts are causing critical infrastructure to falter. So America is falling behind its global competitors because of its permitting paralysis. The moment is now to make our permitting structure live up to the national urgency. The time for business as usual is over. So this is why I founded Everstar. We're building artificial intelligence that is the sword of Alexander to cut through the Gordian knot of regulations. Keep the safety innovations that matter. Eliminate the outdated bureaucracy. Our customers are reporting 70% or better in time savings. They're able to do things that took 10 years and two, three years. So this is not incremental change. This is a phase change. And we're not doing it by cutting corners. We're doing it by cutting the confusion and working smarter. So our North Star is to slash the cost of nuclear by an order of magnitude. Can you imagine a world where everything is 10 times cheaper? America's history has been defined by conquering the impossible, by swift and bold national action. In 1931, we built the Empire State Building in just 13 months. In 1942, the Manhattan Project took theoretical physics into working reactors in just three years. I like to say nuclear energy is the most American form of energy because we took the smartest people around the world, put them in the same room, and we learned how to pull out the most dense energy out of hot rocks. In 1961, President Kennedy committed us to the moon. And in just eight short years, we all took that giant leap with Armstrong on the moon. That American drive for moonshots and breakthroughs is not dead. It's very much alive. Recently, President Trump announced a $500 billion AI infrastructure investment. We need that same level of ambition for energy abundance. Imagine with me what that next breakthrough moonshot will look like. Our vision, by 2045, 200 new reactors on the grid, replacing every coal and natural gas plant 
in the States. So today, I'm very proud to announce Project Titan. This is a multi-billion dollar initiative marshalling America's greatest might and scale from defense, manufacturing, energy, finance, and technology to unleash this energy abundance in America. We have a comprehensive plan designed strategically to unleash permitting acceleration by activating defense production authorities, artificial intelligence solutions that will cut down costs drastically at every layer of the nuclear value chain within two, three years, including manufacturing and construction, new reactors breaking ground in the next 40 months, and scale deployments starting in 2028, not 2048. Imagine with me, siting done in months, not years. Components made in American factories and assembled together on site by artificial intelligence robotics in record time. Safety enhanced by intelligent systems and military installations across the world, standardized designs and proven safety powered by baseload clean power. This isn't just energy policy. This is about national security and economic revival. Hundreds of thousands of jobs, American leadership restored the ultimate fusion of technological prowess and national determinism. Energy abundance in this decade, not the next. So I started with the idea of the Gordian knot. Whoever untied it will rule all of Asia. Today, whoever solves this energy challenge has a chance to shape humanity's destiny. And energy abundance is not some distant utopian future. It is a near-term achievable action plan with the right approach. Step one, slash the regulatory costs of approvals by order of magnitude. Step two, slash the cost of supply chain and manufacturing by a factor of five. Step three, slash the cost of construction and operations by half. When the costs and benefits of nuclear are no longer at odds, we envision a world where nuclear energy is the next great American export. So the choice is clear. Either we go with the status quo, slow, bureaucratic, nothing gets done, risk energy poverty, or we slash the Gordian knot and we unleash that next great leap. When we succeed, benefits will cascade throughout society. Grocery prices cut in half. Egg prices are still expensive, am I right? <laughs> Boats and trains that fart out nothing but water. It's true. Medical breakthroughs powered by AGI that are unshackled from energy constraints. Nuclear fuel rockets that take us farther into the cosmos. American dominance of energy for itself and its allies. So we are on a mission. We're on a mission to make nuclear fast, cheap, and unstoppable. We're not just building software, we're engineering energy abundance. We're not just streamlining regulations, we're guaranteeing a future where our children inherit energy prosperity, not energy scarcity. The time for business as usual is over. Nuclear must move now. Let's build. Thank you.